I am Cat Woods. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do an update over my CSB Woman's Study Bible. So this Bible is from Holman. You can purchase it at christianbook.com. Um, they're at Amazon. Just type up this Bible on Google and you'll be able to find it very, very, very easily. Um, I do want to make a little disclaimer. When you do go looking for it, they do have a lot of different covers. This one right here is my favorite. I love the teal. I love the um, colors of the flowers. It's just super, super, super beautiful. Anything that has flowers, you all, I, I'm drawn to it. Um, but yours won't come with this art gilt that I have added. I have added pink underneath the silver. You will just get the silver gilding. So, um, but you can easily, easily add this ink to your, uh, to your Bible. You can put purple, you can do teal. There is this color right here. Now, I was trying to figure out a highlighter to match this color um, last night, and I couldn't do it. It's not an orange. It's not a red. It's not a coral. I don't know what color this is. Um, and I do have two of them. So this one right here is the first edition. And what I mean by first edition, this is the very first one that came out. This is, was released back in 2018. So this Bible has been out for, what, going on three years now? So it's been out for a while. So this is the first edition. I don't know how frequently they print a new batch of these Bibles, but once this first batch now, I will show you. Hopefully, I didn't cover it up. Sometimes, I cover it up because I don't ever need it. The Bibles will come with a copyright page. And on the copyright page, it will show you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It will show you when it was printed. So, they printed this and where. So, it was printed in China and it was printed in January of 2018. So once all these batches of Bibles, so this whole first edition set came out, there was another one. So that could have been, I don't know, let's just say every year. So the second edition came out in 2019, then 20, then, you know, we'll just go on from there. I don't know if that's the case. I can get a hold of Holman and maybe ask them. Maybe somebody can answer that question on how frequently they're changing, um, or they're just printing out these Bibles? That would be a good question to know. And what I had, my question was, what have they done with these Bibles over the years? Have they changed them? Have they um, done anything different? Or are they just still the same? So, this is the, the second one that I, I have received. It's the exact same Bible. There is no difference. But if you look at it, there kind of is a difference. Like the color, the coloration between the two is different. Same print, same pattern. Over here, they have this teal. So it's like a dark blue stitching. But over here, they have a light teal stitching. So you see how you can see the stitching pop more frequently. This one has um, some, some grain pattern. Now this is a fake leather. This isn't real leather, so I'm not talking about real, you know, fake grain. I mean, I'm not talking about real grain leather. You can kind of see some printing, some, which gives it a good leather look. It's definitely fake. So I don't know if this is going to be more wrinkled and you'll see more of that through, you know, the use over time. I mean, I've used this one up quite a bit and... There's not like too much wrinkling. So that is one difference that has changed the stitching. So which kind of, it's not a huge deal, but there it is a significant change. The ribbons. The ribbons at the beginning, they were um, like non-satin ribbons. These are satin ribbons, but they're super thin. And the one that I received it wasn't even cut it just looked like it was ripped so um they're upgraded the ribbons a little bit but then again 
I don't know. Like, you know, over time, once you do a mass production of something, they kind of change things to make it less quality. So, like, they're selling a bunch of it, so they lessen, like, the quality, like, the good quality of it just to, because it's it's cheap. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that's the case, but you can tell, like, the ribbons, they're definitely, they're definitely different. The stitching, it's definitely different. Um, even the printing, the print of the flowers on the Bible itself. The first edition was super dark. This one over here is a lighter. So I, I've noticed that. Now, coming on on the inside, um, the inside is still identical. I, I love decorating the insides of my Bible. So I did that. You all look at this cute little patch. I love sharing patches with you all. And I found it at Walmart. Um, and I didn't glue it down. This is literally just the glue that comes on the patch itself. Like it's adhesive to the little cardstock page that it's on. I peeled it off and popped it on. I didn't glue it or anything. And it's 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 dirty there. You could tell like a little bit it's starting to move. Oh, you know, so I could add glue to keep it sturdy. But anyways, so moving on in, I will share what kind of ink and everything I'm using. I did share the cardstock. We'll just go ahead and get to the pages. Alright, let's just... Deuteronomy. And we'll come over here to Deuteronomy. Alright. How am I going to do this? Okay, I think I'll have to take you off the tripod just so we can get a better look at this. Alright, so now the paper quality. There is one thing I'd want them to do. I love this Bible and this has been the complaint with a lot of sisters. We want darker print. The printing on here, it's gray. It's not black, it's gray. So the whole Bible, rather it is the word of God or the study notes, it's gray. The only black is when they're um, re referencing to the word of God itself. So this is man-made notes and this is scripture. I wish they did this black color throughout the whole Bible. It will make it so easier to read because there's some lighting. It's just the gray. It's just too light. It really is too light. Um, when you add some colors over it, so if you're highlighting and stuff, I'm trying to find, I know I highlighted a back a lot in Revelations in this Bible. It's like, I know I did highlights. Oh, there are some. Oh, here's some. All right. So you can still highlight. There isn't any kind of, you know, like it doesn't lessen the print. Because I was thinking, okay, once the gray comes, like the gray color, and you put color over it, it's really going to make it lighter. That's not the case. But I just, I wish it was, it was dark. Here we go. Here's Revelation. This is where I have a little bit more colors. I guess not too much more. But you could tell I'm using really light colors, too. And with it being so light, these markings are at least two years old. So yeah, that's the only complaint. And the paper in this one, it's like book paper. So there's like a texture to it. It's not buttery soft. So for those of you who have premium Bibles, um, we know what the buttery soft paper feels like. This isn't anything like it. Like it's, you feel the texture of, um, the grain when it comes to the paper. So it's like normal Bible paper, but this one, on the other hand, this one is buttery soft. I felt it. I opened it up and I was like, am I touching a premium Bible? This one's soft. It's printed exactly in, in China. 
So it's printed from the same place. Let me put you back on the tripod here. They didn't change up who is doing the printing. Oh, oh yes, 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 and yay! Look at this, okay, so there it is. I said the paper was different. I didn't want to go back to check to see where it was. So we're noticing this for the first time, you all. Okay, so right here, printed in Korea. Why they did that change, I don't know. So that makes a lot of sense. That could explain why the ribbons are different, why all these small little touches, they're different. Because it's completely, they changed the spot. And the paper, it's different. It's better. So, I would like to know when. So if any of you have this uh, printed in Korea one, you will you will know. You The paper, it's nice, it's soft. It's nothing like the ones of us, those of us. I know a couple of my sisters, like Sonia, sis, you have to get the second one that's printed in Korea. It's, yeah, this China one, you can hear it. You, it just, yeah. That, that makes a lot of sense. I could not figure it out. I'm thinking, okay, so they're both printed in China. Why are there so many little things that are different? Like, the paper, it's soft. It, yeah, ah, oh, I love it. But I do wish they will make the print a little bit darker. So, I went ahead and I'm using my normal um, highlighters in this one. So, even though the print is light, I'll share the highlighters and stuff that I'm using. You can, you know... It is light. I'm not going to lie and be like, oh, no, it's not. It's dark. It No, it is. It's still the same. It's not any lighter. It's the same lightness from the, the China print one. And here's the back of that note. Oh, you can't even see it. So there's the back of that note. The paper quality it's still it's still the same um but the, the the softness like the butteriness of it which i love because i i feel like it's a premium bible they really i really really enjoyed that they switched it and moved it to korea because this gives this 60 dollar bible um you're you're getting your money's worth a, a, a lot more with this one versus the china print one um i'm trying to think what else i liked about this bible versus this one it was that paper really that paper did a whole lot that's the only complaint is just this light print all right so you may and this color pink it's the same pink. I used the same pink in both Bibles, but it came out differently on each of them. I don't know if, probably because this one's like, what, three, four years old by now, and I just applied this one, so that may be why it's so poppy and in your face. It looks like it's a neon color almost, so that may be why. I may do a second coat to see, but... um. It, it may just fade because it's just that's what inks do sometimes they just they fade with time and with use <laughs> so cat what are you using i always recommend getting these makeup sponges okay and i'm going to do a quick show and tell on how easy it is to apply ink to your bible So when you're going to do this, oh, and here is the ink. This is the ink that I'm using. And I know a lot of people say get the archival ink because it is waterproof. I totally get why you would want to do that. But my question for you is just because you get the second color, so the first color will either be silver or gold, the second color will be waterproof. 
If the first color is not waterproof, why do you care if the second color is waterproof or not? You know? So a lot of people will tell you, just get the archival link. Get the archival link. That doesn't, like, I don't see any any reason for that. Um, and I'm glad I went ahead and got this one because I was just sticking to the archival link because that's what everyone was recommending. And they didn't have any archival inks they only have the black and some brown color and I was like I don't want black or brown I want something different I want a bright poppy you know happy color so I went ahead and picked this one and I'm glad that I did um so oh and this is what you do I'll do a second video I'll do a second video there's something that I found out now I do have a playlist over um applying these inks my lessons that I've learned I have followed a lot of YouTube videos there's two videos on YouTube right now that are still up they give the, the knowledge and they're telling you all it doesn't matter how you lay on this ink you can lay it on and you can go to apply it it doesn't matter how you apply it just as long as the ink is on the Bible, that's completely wrong. That's completely false. When you are moving your tool opposite of what is going, like going with the grain. So the grain's obviously going down. If I'm going this way, I'm going to scrub off and flake off the actual color. So the first color. And you will not have an even um, amount of color. So there will be some pictures you see some people doing and it's real splotchy looking like it's dark in some spots, light in other spots. That's because they went with the method of I'm just going to put the color down. I don't have to be even about it. It's just as long as the color's there, that's all that matters. You cannot do that. And you have to take your time. I mean, I know it's it's not really fun or enjoyable, but if you want your Bible to look good and be happy with it, you have to take your time with it. Okay, so we're going to pretend this is what I'm doing. Get a piece of paper, put it on the back side so you're not adding ink to the back side here. So we're going to push down on the ink. All right, we're going to get ink on the um, little spongy here. And when you go on, you start at the corners. So you're working your way here at the corners. Get a little bit more ink and this is li literally all you're going to do you're going to work in some ouch this sorry that was my nail oh your nail just ripped my skin okay sorry about that my cat just dropped jumped from my lap or from the desk to my lap so we're going to get the ink and we're going to come on down we're going to work in small little motions what I like to do is go from the corner and I like bringing it down. All right. I don't bring it all the way down through the Bible because it stretches. So it stretches the ink. Um, I don't know how, I guess the amount of ink. So keep the consistency evenly and just work in small little motions. It saves you a lot of time so you're not having to come back and go over it all right so we're doing this we're going all the way down back and forth and then you'll see sometimes that you'll um, need more ink in certain spots oh and you also want to fan it out all right so we bring it down like here and we're fanning it out all right take out the ribbons take out whatever is like in your Bible so do you see how I have the ribbons in right here and when I fan it out I have these two little lines that's because the ribbons are there once you take these ribbons out you gotta lay down dude I can't work around you with your head popped up like this once you take these ribbons out you really don't is that a post-it note okay there's post-it notes like you won't get that you won't get these two lines but there's extra paper so it's gonna like kind of pop up there so we're gonna do that we're gonna bring it on down then we'll flip the Bible over 
flip the Bible over and turn it over, we're going to have the paper slide it underneath here, and we're going to do the same thing. All right, get down, get some more ink. All right, so do not turn your sponge going different ways. Don't put it this way. Don't come over here, put some over here, come back up here, put some over here. Don't do that. Keep your tool very, very evenly. All right, it's no different than um, them writing. When you're writing, you don't write on the top line, come back down to the top line. When you're drawing, you don't just, you know, go all over the palette. Just keep it evenly. See it as, as anything else. The more even that you keep your tools that in your ink, the more even the color comes out, the more beautiful, the more poppy it looks, the, no matter the color that you're using. Um, I do have a green color that I have shared. I will be coming back and doing a video just solely over that. A lot of people have been drawn to that color and want to know what it is. So I will share some tools that I have learned. Um, there's been a few other things that I have learned with this. But this is not fully what this video is over. So I just wanted to share the color that I am using, um, why these two Bibles have changed. And I don't know, like I said, I don't know when they have changed, but there is small little changes in them. So I bet, I bet a lot of you are running to your bookshelves right now to see which one <laughs> you have purchased. I would like to know when, when did they change from China to Korea? But, um, okay. So, but, oh, the notes, everything is identical. The only thing that has changed are the ribbons, the small, the small little details, the notes are identical, the questions, the charts, the page, literally the page, the pagination. Um, let's see, let's go, let's just stick to Deuteronomy, it's just easiest for me. Okay, Deuteronomy is on page 215. Um, here 215 yeah so the page number is identical the everything everything is the same um, the only thing I did notice was the print the color print just like the actual outside cover itself it's lighter so I don't know if that's because of the paper because the paper is so soft that's why their normal print like this it just comes out a little bit lighter um, but yeah, everything, everything's the same. So no worries there, people. I had, did have a couple questions asked like, wait, did they change the notes? Did they upgrade something? Nothing like that. Just, it was all the materials, but okay. If you do have any questions, leave them for me in the comments below. I will do my very, very best to answer them all. Um, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, also share my channel with other sisters, um, any, anyone who you think will benefit from my channel. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Remember, be a creative tool in our Father's Art Box. I'll talk to you all later. Bye!